Hello and welcome on my channel. Um, so a few months ago, I posted a video about how to use sunscreens and what is sunscreen and how often you should use it, the difference between chemicals and minerals and so on and so on. Um, the video is here and since I post that, you've been asking me a lot what are my favorite sunscreens and what sunscreen I am using. And today I will share with you my four best sunscreens on the planet actually three three favorite sunscreen because um about this one i will tell you later as well i will tell you the prices the brands and also i will show you how they behave on my face after i put them on so without further ado let's move on to the video but of course as per usual before we do so i would like to kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video click the notification bell so, you know, more people can see this video, my channel can grow, and we are almost, almost, almost at 25K. So that would be super nice. So the first sunscreen that I've been loving throughout um, the winter was this um, Centella Green Level Unset Sun from Purito. And I just quickly wanted to tell you that a lot of people have been using this and everyone was like really happy um, from this sunscreen, me as well. But now there are this um, new studies showing that it's not actually effective. So if you by any chance have this sunscreen, please do not use it because it is not working and we don't want you know the sun damage we don't want pre-aging we don't want scars and when this is done let's talk about my three best sunscreen and each one of them is amazing and each one of them has a bit of a different um, purpose for me in my skincare so let's go the first sunscreen I wanted to share with you guys it's my recent discovery I think I'm using it for around a month or two months especially for my body and I will tell you why um, in a second this is the sunscreen SPF 50 from brand Modir I believe it is an Australian brand yeah it says Australia or New Zealand I think I think Australia <laughs> anyway this is a mineral sunscreen that I am not usually really into and the main ingredients is zinc oxidite which is basically you know the main ingredients that we will find in every mineral sunscreen but this is somehow much better <laughs> than any other mineral sunscreen i have ever used and also the price of this sunscreen is 23.50 pounds for this big bottle that is why i would highly recommend to use this type of sunscreen for your body and for your face when you're about to you know go to the beach or when you're swimming and so on and so on because um, it is water resistant up to four hours four it's usually it's like an hour or 40 minutes but this is four hours which is very very useful when we are out on the sun swimming at the beginning i've been using it on my body only and because i was a bit afraid to put it on my face i didn't really know if i'm gonna break out if i'm gonna clog my pores but i have tried a few times and to be fair it's very decent the feeling is not as amazing as it would be with a chemical sunscreen because you know it's just my personal preference but it doesn't clog my pores it doesn't make me extra shiny or you know i didn't have any pimples neither each eyes because itching and crying eyes is just you know my problem with sunscreen but with this one everything is perfect my skin looks really really good it is maybe not a sunscreen that i will use um you know underneath my makeup or when i'm going out just for every day on my face but for my body it works amazing um and yeah the price 23.50 guys super super nice especially during the summer there are two things that i would say are not maybe the best the first is that it contains and i need to read it for menthol benzylite i believe this is how you read it and this is an ingredient that it's not reef safe which means that it's not good for the reef and for you know ocean in general so if this is an australian brand i would expect them to have reef safe products and the other thing is that when you put it on your face you really need to wait like at least five to ten minutes for the product to absorb but the waiting process is a bit long and your face might be tiny little bit more shiny than usual so yeah I wouldn't recommend it for you know school or work but for every summer slash you know spring adventures holidays and so on and so on this is my go-to especially when i said 
for my body. I will use it for my body um, throughout the whole year. Obviously only on the parts of my body that will be shown to the work, not like, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's move on to number two. So number two is the most affordable from all of those three I'm going to show you. And it is a Korean sunscreen from the brand, okay, Focus Karina, Kosks. Kosks? 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 And because we have aloe inside, it is extremely, extremely moisturizing. And when I'm using this product, I don't need any more moisturizers underneath. So when I know I will be using this sunscreen, basically after serum, I will just put directly this product because after my face is really, really moisturized throughout the whole day. It covers UVA and UVB, so basically broad spectrum as well as the previous one I didn't say. And all of them, from what I know, are cruelty free. For sure the previous one and for sure the next one are cruelty free. With this one I am not entirely sure, but I believe it is cruelty free as well. It looks really nice underneath the makeup, but it's not amazing. You know, it can be tiny little bit shiny. And also it doesn't leave a white cast, but it has a white color. So again, you need to wait a few minutes from two to maximum five minutes. And as you can see in this video, I don't really have much left. So I definitely need to purchase a new one because I love, love, love it. And I recommend it for everyone from dry skin to oily skin. But if you have oily skin to normal skin, I would rather use it in a day where you know you don't need that much makeup maybe. And it has no smell at all. So if you're looking for a good sunscreen that can also work as a moisturizer, this is the way to go. And it's also super affordable and I can highly, highly, highly recommend because as you can see, I don't really have anything left. <sighs> cream de la cream, cherry on top of all of the sunscreen is this unseen sunscreen from Supergoop. This is my third bottle, guys. Since I've tried this sunscreen, I just cannot stop using it. It is genuinely the best sunscreen I have ever, ever used and I can recommend it to everyone on the planet because it is just fabulous and amazing. So this is a chemical sunscreen with SPF 30. It is also broadcast and it is water resistant, but um, the website said that it's only water resistant for 40 minutes. So um, with, woo! So with this one, we have four hours. With this one, we only have 40 minutes. But again, I think this is um, the sunscreen that we will only use for our face and neck. Um, we will not really use it for our body. I mean, if you are millionaires, then go for it, but I wouldn't uh, because this bottle is 30 pounds for, you know, tiny little bottle. But believe me, it is and it will be the best sunscreen you will ever ever try. Let's start from the color. It is completely invisible, which means that you don't need to wait and there won't be any white cast by any means. And also it is an amazing primer underneath your makeup. If you're looking for something that won't make you shiny, that won't clog your pores, that your eyes won't be itching and just your face will look super extremely matte and beautiful, this is it. It has this mousse consistency. It, the consistency reminds me that um, oh, I'm not sure what was the brand, like L'Oreal or Maybelline. They have this foundation in this mousse formula. This is something very, very similar. Although it has tiny little bit of smell, but it just smells like summer for me. And I've never experienced any clock pores, any irritation or any new pimples after using this product. It is amazing. I highly recommend it and it is worth every pound. So this is my number one sunscreen and I don't think I will ever stop using it. But, you know, we will see. But as for now, it is the best thing I have ever, 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 ever tried. Um, anyway, that's it. I showed you my three best sunscreen. Each one of them has a different purpose. This is mainly for my body and for my face during the holidays. Um, this is when I'm, you know, staying at home around the house and also when I feel like my skin needs a little bit more moisturizing. And this is just my everyday go-to sunscreen, especially when I am putting makeup on my face after. So, Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what are your favorite sunscreen and if you ever tried any of those. And yeah, what other videos would you like to see on my channel? Don't forget to check out my Instagram, my TikTok, subscribe, like and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.